Hi, I'm Charlie with Freedom Scientific. And I'm Rusty. We're here today to talk about the SARA, the easy to use scan and read appliance. Vision impaired people such as Rusty and myself use the SARA to scan books and any other printed material to be read back in a crisp, clean, human-like voice. The SARA is very easy to use. You simply pick up your book, place it on the SARA, doesn't matter what the orientation of the book is, then hit your red scanning button. Scanning page two. Please wait. Once you scan, Sarah will come up reading automatically. Let me give you an example. Let's say a man has two terriers. One is named Lady, the other Columbus. The owner named the one Columbus because he loves to explore. Lady is quiet and shy and never explores, so she's ladylike. That makes sense, doesn't it? A little terrier who pulls on his leash because he loves to explore? And another terrier who stays in the corner and acts like a little lady? According to the owner, the dogs were named after their personalities. When it was reading, there was a word I didn't catch. So I paused Sarah, and I'm going back to that word. Personalities. If you need to know how to spell the word, P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-I-T-I-E-S. And to take it a step further, we can spell it phonetically. Papa, Echo, Ramia, Sierra, Oscar, November, Alpha, Lima, India, Tango, India, Echo, Sierra. I've now connected a monitor to the Sara. This will enable us to go over the low vision features that are included with the Sara. Now we're going to select the reading voice. Samantha, United States. Jennifer, United States. Jill, United <coughs> States. Tom, United States. Karen, Australia. Lee, Australia. Daniel, United Kingdom. Emily, United Kingdom. Serena, United Kingdom. Sangeeta, India. I like Tom the best, so let's go back up to him. Tom, United States. The reading voice selection is now set to Tom. Let's let Tom read. Well, red dog, smelling is believing. If she doesn't smell it, she can't figure it out. You can adjust the speed to go faster or slower. Let's speed him up. Faster, faster, faster. Out. It's not real to her. And how's this for a comparison? While we humans have only about 5 million scent receptors in our noses, the average grown dog has about 220 million. In fact, as handlers of tracking and cadaver dogs can tell you, dogs have the ability to sniff out smells that we can't even pick up using sophisticated scientific equipment. Now let's change the font size. 48 not checked. 60 not checked. 60 checked. Leaving menus. We can also change the contrast colors. Green on black. Yellow on black. Text color changed to yellow on black. Leaving menus. It grows up to see the world using its nose as its primary sensory organ. Along with scent and energy, a puppy will experience touch as she wriggles close to her mother to nurse long before she even knows what she looks like. So the highlight we can change to be a different color, to go away, or we can just change the color of the word that it's reading. File, submenu, go to, voice set, scanning set, visual settings, text font, text size, text color, spotlight color, red on yellow, yellow on blue, blue on yellow, black on yellow, violet on black, Spotlight color changed to violet on black. Leaving menus. Like, not until about 15 days after her birth will she open her eyes and start to take in the world through sight. Sarah scans documents in 16 languages and has reading voices in 35 dialects. I've scanned a Spanish document. Let's let Isabella read it in Castilian Spanish. El tráfico origina hasta el 60% de la polución urbana, según un estudio Madrid, 
guión, el tráfico origina en el proyecto, también trabajan los resultados, indican que la con entre un 40 y un 60% de los científicos del Centro de Estudios Taminación por Material Particulado, Contaminación por Partículas Ambiente. And now let's have Javier read it in Latin American Spanish. El tráfico origina hasta el 60% de la polución urbana, según un estudio Madrid, guión, el tráfico origina en el proyecto, también trabaja en los resultados, indican que la con entre un 40 y un 60% de los científicos del Centro de Estudios Taminación por Material Particulado Contaminación por Partículas Ambientales del Mediterráneo. Sarah comes complete with a 100 book library already installed. These books range from children's books to adult titles. A Room with a View by Ida Dan Forster. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Aesop's Fables by Aesop. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Anderson's Fairy Tales by Hans Christian Andersen. Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. My book opens with my same visual and voice settings as my scanned document, and they're just as easy to change. The Sarah comes equipped with an 80 gig hard drive, as well as a CD, DVD drive to listen to audiobooks. He followed us, Mara said, sounding stunned. And he's got the range. Kento snarled as he threw the bargain hunter into another series of stomach-twisting evasive maneuvers. Cardass, get us out of here! Trying! Cardass called back, fighting to read the computer displays as they bounced and wobbled in front of his eyes. There was no way it was going to calculate the next jump before even Kento's luck ran out. Now let's hand it over to Rusty. Rusty's going to show you buck scan and connect a braille display to Sarah to show you how easy it is to use for a blind or a deaf-blind person. Rusty, here's the money I owe you. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Buck scan. $20 bill. Oh, he did give me the right one. Header one, apple raisin bread pudding. Bread pudding is quick and easy to prepare. The addition of apple, raisins, and cinnamon bread in this recipe imparts a pleasant aroma to your home. In eight slices cinnamon raisin bread, quartered. No more pages. One pound golden delicious apples to medium. Sliced crosswise one half cup plus three tablespoons sugar. File. Submenu. Go to. Top of dot. Leaving menus. Apple raisin bread pudding. In a document like this, if I wanted to read the document in braille without disturbing anyone, or considering that this document has ingredients, I can actually read these in braille by panning through the document, get down to the ingredients where it's much easier to see them in braille. If I want to look through it with braille so that I can be more accurate as far as looking to see what ingredients I need, I can actually use the braille display and start panning through the document um, just like this. For example, it says eight slices cinnamon raisin bread quartered. Uh, it's much easier for me to go through and look at this in Braille than it is to listen to it with speech because I can just get a more accurate representation of what's here. Uh, that's for the Braille user. Also, if I uh, want to switch it to what we call contracted Braille, I can do that. Uh, makes it easier for the more, you know the experienced Braille user, someone who reads Braille all the time would ordinarily read this as uh, contracted braille file so we can go into about the advanced settings menu wizard updates advanced sub key assignments sub menu and we can scroll to the restore grade 2 braille grade 2 braille and grade 2 braille check leaving menus now i can actually see the items in grade 2 braille so it's much easier to read for example three cups, half and half. Remember, you can start using Sarah right out of the box with no experience or training. So get started today with a free in-home evaluation 
Thanks for watching our video about the Sarah scanning and reading appliance.